name is Guillermo Sanchez and I transform myself into G. Dolce. <laughs> Because it's fun, because it gives me an outlet to, um, for my stress, you know, I work a very hectic nine to five job and I have a stressful life, especially as an immigrant, not having any family and being here by myself. It gives me that, you know, like expressive, creative outlet to be able to do things that are out of the ordinary. Believe it or not, I, I, even as a kid, I, for a really strange reason, I knew that I was going to be a drag queen. And I didn't, I don't even know, I didn't even know what a drag queen was. But I know, and my brother is also a drag queen. I don't know at what point, I think when we were like, like older, maybe like eight years old or nine, well, like seven, eight, nine, ten. We like to play with our makeup. And one day my uncle came home, my, my mom's sister, and he got really upset because we were playing with my mom's makeup. And of course, in Panama, that's like unacceptable. So, um, like me and my brother would kind of like secretly dress like girls or something like that. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, well, it wasn't so bad at first. But my mom and my dad were, especially my dad, he was kind of homophobic. So he will, I mean, he will be like a really bad homophobic. He will, you know, yell at people and make comments and be like really like unacceptable pretty much. So me and my brother was sitting in the back of the car and we, you know, really tense because we know that that's us. Even as kids, you know, we could, we could see the situation and relay that that was gonna be us and that we were different. That's why I live so far away. I mean, it's not like I don't think they have a clue. It's just that because they live so far away and I live here and we don't really see each other on the daily, we don't have to necessarily like, you know, talk about those things. Yeah. When we started working for the club, initially it was me and Jason go go, go, go in together. Then I did the first solo performance. I think I performed by myself for the first three months, and then Jason caught up, and then he got into the mix. When Jason got the, the two more dinos the first time, I think in 2007, he, I feel like he went into a depression where he wouldn't even want to leave the house because of everything that was going on. We kind of gained a little bit of weight, and then we didn't really do much of anything. We had a very flat social life. Like, we had a, a, a close friends, we would go here and there, and that was it. The second time that the tumor came about again, we were already into the the drag scene and the party monster. And it was actually a blessing in disguise because it allowed Jason to focus the fear that he had for the treatment and the t tumor in as an outlet for his credit creativity in making costumes and rehearsing and uh, worrying about the the show so it was kind of I don't know it's kind of like it's very stressful to get all this st stuff together since we work with designers and some of the th things we do ourselves but even work with the designer we have to have meetings we have to drive to the studio we have to have fittings we have one last night I mean went in for three hours and so it's a lot, it's very time consuming, but the time consumption allowed Jason to not have to think about the tumor and the treatment as much. Till pretty much the moment of the treatment came and he had to actually be there. Then, I mean, you know, but, but it was a blessing in disguise. We actually started doing the show and a few months into it, Jason's brother passed away, his youngest brother. And the same week that his brother passed away, we had our show. And we went to the club and we did the show. We just had to do it. We did it. It wasn't necessarily fun, but it was successful. They will all be there that night. Tonight at Scarlet. Please make some noise one more time for Pony Monster. Monster. You are going to get a, um, you're going to get drag in your face. Is 
drag to the dance is creative drag is not is not so focused on women in person women impersonating as much as is as to be a creative artist and a creative image a visual image that will conclude this evening's entertainment